I'm Cape Jewel, and this is Comic Smack, your weekly, daily, all the time, anytime comic book show where we take closer, more in depth looks at the coolest and most happening things going on in the world of comics. And on today's show, we're going to be looking at all new X Men issue number nine, a tie in issue to the Apocalypse War event. What could this mean for the young kid Apocalypse? Well, let's hop on in and find out. So as we join the comic, the young X-Men are having an absolutely baller party. Yep, that's right, it's Evan Genesis's birthday. All the happening young X-Men are there, even Kid Gladiator is DJing the event, and in these trying times with everyone dying of Terrigen mist poisoning, well, they need as much chance to celebrate as possible. Everyone seems to be having an absolutely great time, that is, except for Evan himself, who is feeling, well, kind of depressed and kind of down about himself. He goes to talk to Beast, who is currently in the process of experimenting with time travel because you know that's always worked out for him every time he's tried it. Also a hey, nice little bit of connective tissue here that bat with the diamonds in it that's from a Jason Aaron Wolverine Spider-Man story. Nice pull guy. Evans decides to borrow Pickles the resident BAMP so he can go back to his hometown. The only place where he really wanted to be on his birthday. This is a very idealistic place in the American heartland and when I say heartland I mean the south and because of that Evan gets a very very icy response from the townspeople. Now geez, why are they so mean to him? I mean, don't they know him? Isn't he from there? Isn't he like some sort of local hero? No, no, because Evan Genesis was grown in a tube to be the next great apocalypse, because of that, all of his memories of this place are implanted, but he can't help that they're implanted, they're still special to him. Wow, that is a gigantic bummer. That trip sadly did nothing to get Evan out of his existential funk, and when he returns the BAMP to Beast's office, he sees the ancient Egyptian artifact that Beast was toying around with Doctor Strange last issue. Huh, you know, I complained that that story was pointless filler, but here in this issue, they actually go a long way to pay off its importance. Evan puts the mask on, and in doing so, ends up teleporting both him and Beast back to ancient Egypt. But not just anywhere in ancient Egypt, they end up getting dropped right in the middle of a bandit attack. These guys are the Sand Troopers, and honestly, if you're up to date on your X-Men, I don't have to tell you what happens next, right? These bandits work for the father of Ansabanur. Yep, that's right, the guy who will become Apocalypse, and wouldn't you know it, young teenage Apocalypse, basically the same age Evan is now, wasn't the kill-crazy tyrant we know him as today. In fact, at this point in time where we meet him, he hasn't killed anybody, not for a lack of trust trying, that is, his father's men try and push him into getting his first kill that very night. All of this gets interrupted when Beast and Genesis fall through the time portal. Seizing on the opportunity, and Sabanor grabs Evan and bolts while poor Beast is left behind. Now, why would the man who would be Apocalypse go through all the trouble of doing this? Well, as he puts it, he wants out. He knows Evan is a time traveler, and he wants to go with him when he goes back to the future. You know what? Of all these different Apocalypse War tie-in storylines, which are not in any way related in case you couldn't pick up on that. It took me a while to pick up on it. Uncanny X-Men number 9 is probably the one I'm most interested because it's the most character driven. Evan has always feared that he may one day become Apocalypse and now his fear is justified because we meet a young Apocalypse who is a lot like Evan. It's a cool premise and it gives the focus to a character I've always liked but never seems to find the spotlight all that often. Overall, I would feel comfortable giving this one an 8 out of 10 and I hope it keeps up this momentum going forward. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my newest video. Video. I hope you enjoyed it, and while you're here, why not check out another video I have on offer, or maybe if you're feeling in a supportive mood, you want to like or subscribe. And if you want to support the creation of more videos just like this one, then please, by all means, check out the Cape Joel Patreon. A little bit goes a very long way, and I will see you all next time.